Setting up your people per hour account does not have to be a hit or miss. In this tutorial, you'll learn exactly how to set up your people per hour account and how to customize your profile so as to become more visible to potential hires. You'll see how to insert your skills, how to create your portfolio, how to set your hourly rate, and more. I'm Vince, and this is Actionable User, whereby we help you become more actionable when it comes to people per hour and freelancing in general. Without taking up much of your time, we'll jump right into this video and you'll see exactly what I'm talking about. Enjoy. I'm on people per hour and I like to sign up as a freelancer. I'll go up here where there is login and sign up. So I'll click on sign up. There's this pop up over here whereby if I scroll, it's asking me what I want to do, whether I want to hire a freelancer or whether I want to work as a freelancer. And actually, I'm here to work as a freelancer and sell my skills. So I'm going to click on this. I'm going to scroll down. Then there's an option to sign up with Facebook or sign up with an email. I'm going to click on the email. Then I'm supposed to add my details like name, email, and password. So let me insert my details. I've inserted my email. Then I'm going to go ahead and actually insert my password. Make sure that you use a very strong password. Then afterwards, click on sign up. Yeah, then I'm being told that a link has been sent to my email. Then I'm supposed to use it to verify my account. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. If you don't see the link in your email, make sure to see the junk folder. I'm inside my email. And I'm being told that I'm one step away from activating my people per hour account. So first of all, I need to be able to activate it so that I can be allowed to set it up and customize it. Yeah, so I'm going to click on activate account. Immediately, I'm redirected here. My email has been successfully confirmed. I have been able to verify my people per hour account. Now I'm required to complete my profile so as to be able to start selling my skills. Now, I need a couple of things like a profile picture, a job title, and these other ones. So let's begin here with a profile picture. So I can drag and drop a picture here or I can browse. So I'm going to drag and drop. I'm going to use this image. Now I'm going to drag and drop it here. As you can see, it's uploading. Yeah, now it's complete. And now let me go ahead to the other section, which is the job title. Ahead of time, I prepared uh, a Microsoft Word document containing all this information. So let me go ahead and open it and show you. So I created the job title, the top skills, some of them are here, and the about section. So we shall go through each one of these individually and we shall see. So I'm going to click on all these. And I'm going to copy it. Yeah, then I'm going to paste it in people per hour. I've pasted in my title. So now I want to insert a couple of skills here. I'll begin with the first one. That is graphics and design. Then it's searching. Then it has found graphics design, which is an exact match. So I'm going to click on it. And immediately I click on it, it becomes this form of tag. And I can click on here and there's an X which will eliminate it like that. So I'm going to go to the next one. Then I'll paste it in. I'll go with lifestyle photography. Then the third one. Paste it inside here. Then it's searching. Then there's an exact match. Adobe Photoshop. Motion graphics is an exact match. Visual designer is not found. So I'll go to the next one. I'll go to the next one. So I'll click on videography. Then I'll add the last skill here. So I'll click on the exact match. 15 is the maximum so it's not a must that you fill all these 15 actually I've included 7 and this is okay so I'll go ahead and insert my about section 
here's my about section on the right side I'm telling them that I'm a skilled graphics designer and I will help you and your businesses branding efforts by delivering incredible graphics that will wow your audience I'm going further and saying that I create social media graphics, book covers and illustration diagrams, thumbnails, logos, templates and advertisement banners and award you full copyright. So basically I'm promising the hire that I'm going to give them full copyright on all this work. This last paragraph I'm going ahead and telling them that I am conversant with diverse software like Adobe, Suit, Canva, GIMP, Krita and many others. Now I'll copy all this and paste it inside here. Yeah, I have pasted in all my about section from here. After inserting my about section, I'm through with the Microsoft Word document. Now I want to go to the next section which is location. And guys, as a caution, make sure that the location which is indicated here is your true location and that you're not using something like a VPN because people power will detect you're using a VPN and they will not accept your application. So make sure that your location is correct and after that make sure you insert your languages here after inserting that there's a caution down here that only add languages that you can comfortably communicate in then after that there is an hourly rate whereby it is in great britain pounds you can click and change the currency and you can also come on this side and change the amount like here i'll choose to double it set the amount that you just feel you're comfortable with then after that I'm going to click on submit application and before I do that I'll first of all go through it again and make sure that everything is in place everything is complete and actually if there's a mistake they'll highlight it for me so let me click on submit after clicking on submit I can see that my profile is already created there's some message here that I'm almost there I'm being asked how I would like my application to be processed. Now, there are a couple of options here. There is a fast track, which means that your approval will be within one working day. You can pay to skip the queue. There is also the basic option, which means that it can take up to seven working days to approve my application. It is free, and this other one is £10. So if you feel like paying to get quicker results, you can do that. Then there is a caution here that purchasing a fast track option does not guarantee acceptance of an application. So just because you paid this £10 does not mean that you are automatically approved. After selecting this second one, which is free, now proceed. Then I'm being told that my application is under review and that it will take approximately seven days and I'll be alerted by email. Upon reaching this point, we can now continue to customize our profile. Here is where we can find the options. So click on the photo. There are a couple of options here. One of them is my profile. So I'll click on that. Yeah, then I'm brought here, whereby you can see this is the information we filled in. Yeah, so first of all, I need to add a cover. So I'll click on that. Then I'm brought here. I'm being told to complete my profile and keep it updated. So I can edit some information here, like including the cover image, which I want to drag and drop here. I have an image here of a laptop. So I'm going to drag that and drop it here. And you can see it's being uploaded. Here is my cover image. Now I have the options of dragging or resizing the selection area. I can drag this to crop it. So I'll click on save down here. And there is my cover image. Now I want to go ahead and include my files here in the portfolio. I'm being told that I can add up to 70 files or a total size of 100 MB. Here is the image that I want to include in my portfolio. I had designed this image inside GIMP, yeah, which is the free alternative of Photoshop. So you can go ahead in the comment and tell me what software you use. Now I'll drag it and drop it here. 
and remember that you can always add a description here after writing the description you can go ahead and click on done so let's move ahead i'm being told to select the industry which is a maximum of five i'll click on this drop down and click on advertising art marketing pr publishing you're supposed to add your phone number yeah which you can add and after that check if you have added all the edits that you want after doing that i'll click on save there's a warning here that my profile updates have been saved and will be public once approved by the moderation team since we have just created this account we have not yet been approved to start working so we have to wait for the seven days so as to know the fate regarding our profile after approval we shall work on more that is how you can easily set up your people per hour account and customize your profile i've created other videos like the reasons why your people per hour account is not getting approved and also how to effectively apply to jobs on people per hour which you can find linked in the description box below if you have a specific video about people per hour that you like me to make let me know in the description box below and i'll do exactly that subscribe to this channel for more videos like this give me a like and share this video with your friends and i'll see you on the next video bye